three o'clock in the afternoon. The water's pretty clear right here, actually. It is 20 mile an hour wind everywhere in the river right now. So the name of the game today is just getting out of the wind and seeing if we can catch anything. It's a little noisy over here, but let's see what we can do. <clears throat> Starting out with this 17 MR mirror lure. Got a little kid screaming bloody murder over here. First fish, baby. First fish. Starting early. Looks like it's a nice little trout. No? Oh, yeah. Nice little trout on the Miradine. A little green still. I am not sure what this guy got into, but something hit him really hard. You can see how bloody he is. His fins are all messed up. So I'm gonna get him back in the water real quick. Oh, missed that one. There we go. There we go. Second fish of the day. Catching him early. He's coming with me right now. That makes me a little nervous. Oh, he popped off. I don't know what that was, but it felt good. Man, there's some fish holding up in here. Man. That was a decent fish. Dolphin's checking me out. I got anything for you, Bubba. I see you. Scaring away all the fish, though. Probably will got that trap. <clears throat> Still waiting. I can't believe how clear it actually is over here. It's about three and a half feet, and I can see the bottom. Money shot. There's a fish. There we go. A little trout, I think. Whew, mangrove snapper. <laughs> That's a first for me. Mangrove snapper on the Meridine. Whew. Just went for a quick release on that one. Just a small little guy. One thing I do have to say though is the fish coming out of here has been super clean so far. Three fish, still four o'clock in the afternoon. Catching them on artificials. Let's go. All right, beautiful little mangrove snapper. I'd like to get back into some more trout. Let me find some snook around here. Oh, there we go. What is this? A little ladyfish? Tiny guy. I almost might keep that for bait, actually. That might be some bait for later. Backup plans. We got four fish. 457. I'm liking this trend. I'm liking this water over here. The initial strike on that small lady fish is one of the harder ones yet. Ooh, big swipe, big swipe. 
Another swipe. Oh man. Another swipe. Hope you guys can see this. I think it's another ladyfish. Took three swipes at it. There it is. It's right underneath it. Try to get it out of the sun. See what hit it by the boat. Nope. Another ladyfish. Just keep on moving down the row here. I'm gonna try to pitch on this dock while I got a good shot at it. Finally, after an hour, we get another dirty mangrove snapper. <laughs> that one wasn't dirty. I mean, sorry, the other ones weren't dirty. That one was dirty. Super purple. Funny now. What is this? I'm just ripping up. Dude, these are everywhere out here. Mangrove snapper is what is in around uh, Ballard Park right now. Just everywhere. That one's way out. Off those pilings. Nothing but a bunch of dinks of mangrove snapper so far. It's crazy how hard they hit at first, and then after that, it just kind of dragged in. Probably futile passing out here with these dolphins or casting out here with these dolphins. Another one. I found the school, you guys. Give me another mangrove snapper. Oh, that was something else, I think. Nice trout. Alright, back into the trout where I want to be. There's a dolphin right here. So I'm going to try to release them over here. Run, buddy, run! That's two for two on cast in front of these poles. This is what happens. Oh. Three for three. Dolphin's still right there. Can't believe they're still hitting. I highly doubt it's going to happen a fourth time. Let's see. Dolphins right there. I might make a move inside the river itself and then come back out here when uh, the sun starts to go down a little more. Try some top water out here. All right, actually back in the Galley River now. A couple windblown points I want to try back here before I go back out to the river and do some top water. little trout. Alright, someone's just blowing up against this sailboat here. Oh shit. You gotta be kidding me with this stuff, man. Ooh. Oh my gosh. I have no idea what it is, but just we're on it so many times.
Jesus. Just dodge that. I think these are jack. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, man. Alright, <clears throat> I'm gonna try some wind protective mangroves. Can't speak today. Wind protective mangroves. Switched over to a little heavier rod action. Set the hook hopefully a little bit better. All right, for the rest of the evening, we are going to be throwing top water. My favorite lure. Uh, I just picked up this one today, actually, from Harry Goods. We're going to try it out. It's actually a lipped balsa wood uh, Rapala top water. So we're going to give it a shot. Missed the hook set because I'm too worried about hitting these poles. So back at the house here. So I was fishing a new section of the river out of necessity because the winds on Friday were about 30 miles an hour and I had a three day weekend. So Friday was a complete wash. But to come Saturday, I was like, I don't care if it's a hurricane out there, I'm going fishing. So Saturday is when actually this video was recorded. It was 20 mile an hour winds. So I found a wind protection section of the river near the entrance of Ballard Park. And I was really surprised how clear that water was. I believe it was like three and a half, four feet on my depth finder and you could actually see the bottom and you could actually see fish following up your lure, which was pretty cool for how deep it was. That main lure I was using in this video today was a purple pro series it has the clear eyes the black nickel hooks and i don't know if you can hear this but it actually has a rattle inside the lure as well so this is the first time i've used this purple color and the trout definitely loved it the mangrove snappers were heating it all up you can see it's actually pretty scratched up already from one day of use i was also using a lot of paddle tails to skip the docks you only saw it later in the video, but I got pretty frustrated when the tails kept being bit off. It didn't matter which version I was using. I eventually switched to Z-Man and the tails were still being bit off. The last bait you saw today I was using was a new topwater that I bought from Harry Goods. It's a Rapala Balsa Wood topwater, which is new for me. It was about six inches long. You saw it had a big bill lip so if you retrieve it too fast it will dive the pro staff told me that when you think you're working it too slow actually work it slower and it took me about an hour to figure out how slow slow was you literally retrieve it as slow as your reel can turn and it provided a great side to side action but the retrieval towards you the speed might be a little slow we'll see how it works out top water is definitely my favorite artificial lure and as the season or summer starts to warm up here we're going to be using a lot more topwater lure so hopefully i will provide a variety of different styles for you so that'll be pretty fun so it's pretty cool seeing a lot of dolphin out there but it was definitely a game of sit and wait or hide and seek however you want to call it where the dolphins were hiding under the boat and every time i'd reel fish up i had to be careful on the release because the dolphin would quickly show up as soon as you started catching fish then you'd have to wait about 15 20 minutes for it to settle back down and catch fish again. I went back out there the next day and they were still around uh, even more so and I have a video of that on the outro. So I'll definitely be keeping this area down in my notes for those windy days where the wind's blowing hard off the west side. 
All right, so for the subscribers out there, you might have noticed I went from posting about once every seven days to once every 15 days. That's because it is the end of the school year, and I'm trying to get the students ready for the final exams, getting all their work turned in. So I probably have time for one more video before that May 10th Central Florida shootout. I'm going to try to fish that with some friends, have some fun. Maybe we'll play somewhere. Definitely going to be going for the inshore species. As always, thanks for stopping by, joining me on this adventure on becoming a better inshore angler. I'm only going to get better as the more I fish, hopefully a lot more during the summer, and through comments and feedback from you guys. So make sure that you guys stop by, leave some comments, subscribe, and just give me any pointers that you have out there. Always appreciated. Until next time, peace!